Oh, what the hell? Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see Chuck here, but he's here. So, hey Gordon, good to see you again. But I never expected to see you around here. Could it be that you are on your way to the Embedded Tower? How the hell do you know that? Weird. The Embedded Tower is a huge tower piercing the sky. It is said that something to do with the mythical Pokemon that stretched the sea and the Pokemon that widened the lands. But the tower is no longer standing. The way to the tower, to the uh, embedded tower, is harder than you can imagine. I've been there before, though. Oh. You need to use rock climb as well as surf. Well, we got those already. I see. So you've defeated all the gym leaders in Kanto as well. Then there is nothing to worry about. Believe in yourself and walk your path. Yah! It's the weirdest laugh I've ever seen. And I used to think the mwa laugh was weird. What the? I didn't realize we can use rock climb here. Well then. We might as well since we got it. What's Is there something here or am I just Am I just tugging away at at you No know trying to say? Am I just grasping at straws? Oh, a big pearl. Nice. After I, I already sold a bunch of stuff. Oh, well. I, uh... I, uh... Yeah, I sold a bunch of stuff so I could buy some more Ultra Balls, because we're gonna need them, obviously. If you can't guess already, uh, we are on our way to the Embedded Tower. And the whole point of it is so we can catch Kyogre. Which you thought we're gonna do. I was gonna actually just cut back to when we got there, but apparently the game didn't want me to. So that's fine. But yeah, we've been to the Embedded Tower before, just because we were exploring. But... Oh, come on. What the hell? You're also here? I mean, that's cool. I thought you were only in Mount Silver. Shoot, I'm learning all sorts of stuff these days. So you could have got one of these on your team. And because it's Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which is fourth generation, you could get it to evolve into whatever it evolves into. I can't remember what its name is. But that's cool. That's something that some people could consider. Especially if you're the type of person that typically would have gotten yourself a Ghastly and gone to Gengar. You know, even though Ga uh, Ghastly, I mean, sorry, Gengar is OP, especially in 6th gen. Don't get me started. Oh, Lyra, no, I missed her phone call. I wanted to answer her phone call. Uh, I was just too quick on the buttons. Oh, well, maybe next time. Maybe she'll call me back. Maybe she'll call me back. Let's see, this is where we're supposed to be. The one place with the rock climbing. And stuff to do the rock climbing. This is charming. We have been here before. I remember being here. And I remember we showed this before just because I was looking around a place to rock climb, I think. I can't remember what we were doing, but... Definitely been here before, and this guy would tell me the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's the big boy right there. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to actually switch my team around because we're gonna try do some tomfoolery here with this Pokemon. But I'm gonna try and you no, know, you know what? I should try and catch this Pokemon now. But I gotta prepare myself, so just one sec. Okay, I think I'm ready. Do you think I'm ready? Yeah, that is unusual presence, considering that this is Johto, and uh, Hoenn Legendary shouldn't be here. But let's say hi to it anyways. 
Ooh, that's quite the roar you got there. And wow, look at that transition. Yeah, yeah. So truth be told, there was a bunch of legendary Pokemon that, when this game first came out, Hard Gold and Soul Silver is what I'm talking about, they made it possible to get those legendaries. But because I'm playing this years after it came out, I can no longer get those legendaries. So this is probably the one that we're gonna get that's gonna have this amazing music. And hopefully I don't knock it out with this psychic. Cause I swear to god, I had that trouble with what's his nuts? Moltres there. This might actually knock it out. Oh good, it didn't. Yeah, keep the <laughs> Let the rain fall down. I can't sing high pitch anything. Okay, so you're gonna try and do that stuff. Uh, who can I throw at you that won't do a shoot ton of damage that you can't really hurt? Uh, not really anybody. Like, maybe Plasma with the Signal Beam? Not Signal Beam, uh, Power Gem. And then if you somehow wake up after that, I feel like I should just try and catch you right now, and not waste this sleep opportunity, so... Fuck it, I'm gonna try it. I bought as many Ultra Balls as I could. I was actually hoping for 100, because I felt really happy with 100. But, oh well, it's fine. Yes, Plasma is at 69, by the way. So I did level up a little bit, but that was because we were fighting the Elite Four again, and Red again, so. They got a bit more punch to them. I didn't realize that Plasma learned Thunder. Well, I knew, but I didn't want Plasma to learn Thunder, just because I don't like the accuracy. I prefer having the accuracy over power, personally. Unless I can guarantee I can hit it. So, odds of that is a little different. You're gonna wake up, aren't you? Yeah, there you go. Okay. And you're gonna heal yourself a little bit from that, I imagine. Yep. Got the Aqua Wang. Aqua Wang. I don't know what I was saying there. Kind of sounds like I said Aqua Wang, but I was trying to say Rang because I'm Asian. That didn't really translate too well. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So let's bring. What am I trying to do? Let's bring Lump back out. Get the yawn again because I do like the yawn effect over the paralyze effect. And I guess that worked out. A little bit. How long does Aqua Ring last until... Eh, doesn't matter. Poor Kyogre just doesn't have a chance against Lump. There you go. You're gonna fall asleep soon. The Aqua Ring does its effect while the Pokemon or the user is asleep. Hmm. Never thought about that. Oh dear. How foolish I've made to switch. Wow. Back to this position, aren't we? Well. Might as well try the power gem. Let's see if we can get this done. Yes. Come on. That'll do. I ain't risking. I ain't risking shit. Yes, you do have that, which is nice and all. Something else I also don't want to risk is bringing out Tyrants. Because I would cancel out the rain effect, but then it'll throw on the sandstorm effect, 
which I definitely don't want. Just because I can't control if certain Pokemon heal themselves or not. It looks like it's a permanent effect. See, this is the first time I've ever actually got to experience it firsthand because usually it's a Milotic that uses it and then I knock it out either in one or two hits. So I don't really get to see the Aqua Ring take full effect. But hey, today is a day of change. Because I certainly wouldn't have tried to catch this Pokemon any other time but now. In terms of for this video. So, aren't you guys lucky? Hopefully I can get this thing before my battery runs out. That would be nice. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just see. Just gonna keep on doing this. Yep. It's gonna be a lot of rinse repeat going on. So, sit back and enjoy. At least in my case, I might just actually cut away unless... Nope, okay. I'm gonna cut back to when I catch it. Alright, be right back. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Woo. I have no idea how much time has passed. Just that took a while and just ugh, I don't know. I had to, I did switch in Tyrant to cancel out the water or the rain, but it didn't really do anything. So, eh. also, what's up with that footprint? Look at that, that's like it's Finn. I, well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, ah, I have no idea. Oh, in all honesty. Alright. A mythical Pokemon said to have swelled the seas with rain and tidal waves, it battled with Groudon. Yes. If any of you know my uh, Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, then, uh, that would all make sense to you. All right. Oh. Well, hello. That was something you don't see every day. That Pokemon is Kyogre, a legendary Pokemon in the Hoenn myth about shaping, about the shaping of that region. Ha! Ah, I see. I see. The embedded tower was built by the people from Hoenn. I guess that makes sense, actually. It's a tower that binds together the sea, the land, and the sky. Kyogre was not the only Pokemon described in the Hoenn myth. This place may be hiding its secrets. The knowledgeable Pokemon professor may be able to tell you more when you show him Kyogre. Phew! There are so many connections between Pokemon and myths. See you around. Okay. Well, let's indulge my curiosity bef uh, a, bit, a bit before we end things off here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you want to do a battle, eh? Wow, look at the time. It's right on midnight. That is hilarious. It's not a Tuesday, but whatever. I think I screwed up my uh, my dates that way. What's the? All right, let's. Hmm. Probably wants to go look at Elm, but at the same time, I think they mean Oak. No offense to Professor Elm, but I just think Oak is kind of the more rounded. Uh, Professor? Let's just see if it turns out we get another thing to let us catch another legendary. I'll probably give it another shot. Maybe. I don't know. I think this series may have been... Like, I think it's probably time to put down this series. Because we've gone well over 100 episodes. My longest running Pokemon Let's Play. Probably the longest ever. As 
ever, ever. Like, that's probably... Just... This is probably the only one that will get that long. Giggity. Let's see. Oh, hey, what are you brought here? A legendary Pokemon that appeared in the Hoenn myth. Oh, great. You must be talking about Kyogre and Groudon. The Embedded Tower is probably the ruins that was something to do with the Hoenn myth. If so, another one must be around. Kyogre and Groudon are said to have shaped the seas and the lands. Where those two are, the other Pokemon is said to appear as well. It is quite possible. It's not hard to imagine that the Red Orb will make Groudon appear at the Embedded Tower. However, according to Mr. Pokemon, Groudon does not show itself to trainers with golden hearts, but only those with shining silver spirits. See what they did there? You see that shit? It's all come back around. All the title and the, all the, the fun shit. Okay. It may be difficult for you alone to accomplish this, Gordon. But if you manage to obtain a Groudon that came from the Embedded Tower, please do come back and show me both legendary Pokemon. I will then... I'm not doing my Oak Force right now. I just realized that. Oh, uh, whatever. Then I will share with you the rest of the Hoenn myth. So... I should, uh, uh, you don't need to see the Pokedex. It's fine. It's fine. You, uh, you know, screw it. This is the last episode. Uh, 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 let's just say your little thing there. But basically what he was saying was... Yeah, if you have Soul Silver and got to this point, you could catch Groudon. And then one of you would have to switch or, like, trade over that Legendary so you have both Legendaries and then show that to the professor and then he'll give you the jade orb and then we could get Rayquaza, Rayquaza, however you, however you pronounce it. So, let's check our dexes. I hate, this is the part of the game that I always hated, which is because uh, I never really caught the Pokemon before. I didn't catch a whole lot of them. But let's see how the Johto dex looks. You've seen 228 and you've caught 15, okay. I've seen a lot. You're trying, I can see that. Your dex is coming on. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Oak. Just fuck you. Uh, let's, the uh, hell, let, let's see the, let, let's see the goddamn, uh, national dex. Yeah, 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 get to the part there. Let's see the national dex. 272 and 63. The goal may be far away, but you don't. But don't give up yet. Keep going. I did better on the national decks than I did the Johto decks. Okay. Okay. Sure. And I think with that, guys, we're gonna end off Pokemon Heart Gold. If there's anything else you guys wish for me to try and cover, I will do my best to do so. If I can't, I I just can't. And that's just the way it is. So, with that being said, guys, this is the end of Pokemon Heart Gold for the channel. So, what's next? will be another Let's Play. Which one that will be? You'll just have to wait and see. And, well, that's really all I can really say right now. I could probably get more in depth with an update video, but we'll see what happens. I haven't done one of those in a very long while. So, until then, you guys. I don't know if I want to just end off like that, but. I will see you guys in the next Let's Play, next video. So, until then, you guys. This is Solar Primal signing out. And, bye for now. Any last words, Lump? <laughs> yeah! Ba -da -ba. You know? It just occurred to me, like it just hit me just now when I shut off the 3DS that 
I'm gonna miss this Let's Play. There was, I had so much fun going through this journey. And uh, it made me reappreciate the game in, in, in like a new light. Not in the hype train light, just being able to appreciate all the work that went into this game. And I hope you guys see that too. And to those of you that don't think that it was a good game, try playing it again. Just give it a, sh a shot. Give it a chance. Because after playing as much as I have, I'm still going to miss it. I didn't want it to end. <laughs>